Lever actions are back in style. I don't think they ever died, but man, are they gaining popularity these days. What we have here is the G-Force Arms Lever 357, also known as the Huckleberry. Come check this thing out. Comes in a standard cardboard box with a nice little foam insert. Look what's on the inside that counts here. This thing's loaded with features and options. I've already added a couple of accessories, but for the most part, this thing comes pretty loaded. Has an M-Lock hand guard, which we've added these Wook side panels to. Has a little quiver on the side, little side saddle, four extra rounds there. Has a Picatinny rail, which we've added the new Vortex ST standard red dot to. This thing comes with a threaded barrel. You can add a little suppressor, flash hider, muzzle brake, whatever you want to add. We're hoping to add a suppressor here pretty soon to that. Fiber optic front sight, fixed rear sight. Has a nice little leather touch here to the bottom for the lever. Makes that a little padded for a nice smooth run. Um, I haven't oiled this in or anything, which we will do when we shoot it more. Uh, we've taken a few shots out to get a zero, but man, this thing's pretty smooth already for not having been oiled, not been broken in, nothing like that. Um, I love the traditional wood stock that comes with this, which adds a nice little traditional touch to the otherwise modern lever action here. So a lot of fun, chambered in 357. What that allows us to do is shoot 38 special through it. This is, when we when it comes to the suppressor, this thing's gonna shoot amazing, quiet, fun, smooth, less kick with a 38 special. That's why I like the 357. Gives the option to shoot both, depending on whether you're using it for hunting or self-defense or just plinking around. This stuff's a little cheaper, a little easier to shoot. So we're gonna bring it out here, shoot a little bit at the range, maybe shoot a plate rack, some flashers off to distance. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so stick around and keep up. All right, we've got this thing all greased up here. We've got it loaded up. Has an eight round capacity in the magazine there for the tube magazine. Um, makes it an eight and one capacity. Uh, I've got eight in it. We're gonna see just a few shots here on the plate rack and then a couple on a long distance flasher, see how this thing runs. So let's see. All right, that was fun. That was empty. Maybe that was seven. I didn't count that. We'll have to go back in the replay and count that. When I was loading it, I thought I counted eight. Um, I think that was seven shots though. So I'll verify that might be seven round capacity on the magazine, which would make it seven and one. Either way, this is a little fun gun. Accurate as heck. I even had the little bitty like three inch one on that plate rack and got a first shot, uh, which this isn't a very far distance, but um, we have an 80 yard shot out there with a the flasher and we smoked that first shot too. So man, this thing's fun. I'm excited to keep playing with it. Uh, I'm going to get some 357 through it as well. But this 38 Special is a blast to shoot out of this thing. Soft shooting, quiet, and pretty accurate. So uh, I'm excited to get some more time behind this thing. But so far, really like it. A, really a fun gun to shoot. So thank you guys for checking it out. All right, so we loaded it back up. And now we counted this time, verified. It's eight rounds in the tube right now. We did look it up online, and their website showed that it was a 10 plus 1 capacity. I couldn't get it to fit 10. I couldn't get it to fit more than eight. So I'm not sure if that information is correct or not. Um, I'll do a little more digging on that, but I did fit eight in it. So now that, you know, I actually counted this time, um, it is a pretty cool little cartridge here. You can see that thing from the top, how it loads. We're going to load the first round in it. And then I've got eight in it. So a couple on the flasher this time after the plate rack. Hopefully we can get through eight of them this time. Seven again. All right, so I was 100% sure that time that we put eight in it. So if we just looked around on the ground and we actually just found two live rounds on the ground. So while I was running the lever and shooting this thing, at some point it spit out an extra round both times. So that's a little odd, something I've never seen on this before. Um, we're going to try to do some more videos with slow-mo just for our own understanding of why it's doing that. But it looks like at some point running the action of this thing, it kicked out the extra round. So we had two live rounds on the ground picked up just now. Um, so it was the eight capacity and I only got seven shots off. One of them ended up on the ground. So we'll see if we can see it on the video, maybe slow it down. 
I'll do a slow-mo video of me just shooting eight rounds real quick and see if I can figure out when it's ejecting that, um, try to figure out why it's doing that. So that would be a little bit of a weird hiccup that I'm not sure what to do with yet. Um, but again, eight round capacity, only got seven shots off on it. So let's see what's going on. So we did a little testing. We got some slow-mo videos, which I'll attach here. Whenever Colton shot the gun, we were able to put eight in the tube and it actually cycled through and shot all eight. Um, when I shot it, it again did the same thing. So we've got a slow-mo of that as well. And on the eighth shot, whenever I racked the seventh round out, the casing came out and then the live round came out with it. Um, so I've just got a few in here. I'm just gonna kind of like rack them slow to show. So there, it's gonna chamber. It's gonna throw that one out. Chamber, throw that one out. I'm gonna go a little fast and see if we can make it do it. Now it did it proper that time. So I've got a slow-mo video. You can kind of see what's going on. So we're gonna see what's going on with that. Um, it's hard to get it to replicate unless I'm actually shooting it. Not sure why it's doing that, but. One thing I did forget to mention, <clears throat> this is a sub $800 lever gun with a lot of awesome options. So hopefully we can get this little uh, finicky thing there figured out to where it's not going through all eight rounds. But for, you know, a $750, $800 lever action, um, this, is, this is pretty cool. Got a lot of ops, awesome options, um, a way so you can accessorize this thing and upgrade it. And then hopefully we can get that figured out with why it's not cycling every round properly and this will be a sweet gun for the price so i still think it's probably worth the money especially compared to what you look at what some of these tactical lever actions are selling for uh, this thing's well worth what i paid for it again less than 800 dollars for this thing fully set up and then i just added the red dot and then just added these little m-lock rails here from luke's but for the price this thing is a sweet gun so still something i would recommend uh, if we could figure out why it's not cycling properly, that would be an awesome gun. I'd give it like a 9 out of 10, but, you know, we'll get through it and try to figure that out. I'll update you if I figure out more. Thanks, guys.